Hey guys, Jay here. How y'all doing? Hope you're having a great day. It's been about five weeks, maybe six weeks since I've uh, produced a video and I uh, just really haven't been in the mood. I had been sick. Doctor thought I had pneumonia and I didn't and I've been playing some golf and working. So I've got some mail. So been sitting here for about six weeks so I'm sure baseball collector Mike is probably really just shaking his head saying how can you let that stuff sit on your desk for that long and not even open it but I have so but hey let's go take a look since it's been so long since I've opened anything uh, I don't know what's what so let's just uh, let's just do it get into it Oh boy, it's raining out today. I've got a deck being put together on the front, getting rid of the brick and putting in some treks. That should be interesting. This is a pickup I had that I spent eBay bucks on. I think this cost me a little over a dollar. Uh, pink refractor. This is to, I'm trying to finish the 2018 uh, Topped Chrome pink refractor set. This is the Aaron Judge. Pick that up, put that in the binder. What else we got here? Got some mail, just haven't really had the desire to open it. Get that way sometimes. Get involved in other things. Oh yeah, Mark from Kentucky would like these. He's the one that kind of spearheaded me to buy these. One of his prospects that he really really likes and he's up playing now Bowman Chrome Willie Adamas nice refractor and this looks like the blue Willie Adamas this one's numbered to 150 nice looking card so a big shout out to Mark from Kentucky Appreciate the heads up. It was about, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. I was looking through the stats. I always follow the stats of players. And sure enough, I looked up Willie Adamas and he was batting 037. And the last time I checked, he was up to 250. So um, that was pretty good. <laughs> she had to crack up. Oh, 37. Oh, great. All right. Next. What we got here? Oh, yeah, I picked up some Juan Soto's, Rafael Devers, yeah. Legends in the Making from Tops for Juan Soto. Didn't have that. Uh, picked up a nice Devers Panini Passports. Thought that was a cool looking card. And I picked up a Gypsy Queen Devers rookie card that I didn't have. And then this Andrew Benintendi that I didn't have. So Bowman Platinum. Ricky radar uh, battery died and had to replace it, so that wasn't cool. Let's see what we get next. Oh yeah, I like this card, uh, Derek Jeter. I think this is 2007. Derek Jeter, really cheap. Uh, this one has um, George Bush. You can see in the stands there, and I believe Mickey Mantle down in the dugout. So I saw saw some people talking about it, and I said, yeah, it's a pretty cool card. So picked that one up. Getting Jeter. It's always nice to get a Jeter card. Check out this next one. I really packed this one in. Of course, he has to use packing tape. I guess I didn't want this one to get out. And he tapes it on the inside. Oh, man. Some people. But, hey, the card survived. I just hate this tape. I don't know why people use that type of tape. Painter's tape would have been just as well. Uh, Joe Bellini. And this happens to say inscribed 2J. So I had seen that. This was, like, the day he died. And I said, geez, you know, check. Because I remember Joe Bellini growing up as a kid. He was a great ball player. 
And I just said, hey, and then it had to inscribe to Jay. And I said, well, I'll get it. So I made the guy an offer. I think it was like five bucks. Wasn't too bad. Got some Gronks here. I'm sure you're all aware that Gronk retired. No big news. I uh, guess when he did announce his retirement, I thought I'd go out and get some, get some more of his cards. Not a whole bunch, but just a few. These were like a buck a piece, I think. Weren't that expensive. Nice Topps rookie card. I didn't actually I didn't have this one. And this is the orange Topps Chrome. This is 2013. I don't think I have any of these. And then this is a nice refractor. Topps Chrome. Grunk against the Chargers. 2015. Almost looks like an atomic. I'll have to double check. Nice Topps Chrome Refractor. It's from numbered to 199, 2014. Another orange one, 2014. And another Refractor. This year is 2014. And one big package I got, I had to have this. I had seen this on Facebook. I just thought the work this guy did was really, really nice. He's an artist. And it just, uh, I just really, really liked it. And I hemmed and hawed about buying it. And according to my grandfather, uh, we are a distant relative to Connie Mack. Being McGillicuddy, his real name is Cornelius McGillicuddy. And like I said, my dad said, according to his father, uh, my grandfather, that we are related somehow, but I'm not really sure. But I got this artist painting of Connie Mac. I've always followed his career just because his name obviously is McGillicuddy. And uh, let you guys take a look here what he did. It's an eight by 10. Yeah, so that's Connie Mac, uh, just a legend. He was manager of the Philadelphia, I believe Philadelphia Athletics, uh, going back for 50 years. So he was manager. I can't believe anybody managing one team for 50 years. And I just thought the guy that did this of course, this is a reprint of a print. Uh, just absolutely fantastic. And Connie Mack is, like I said, I've always uh, followed his career, uh, read up, uh, up on him a lot. And my father told me a story when uh, Connie Mack's son is a senator from Florida. And my dad was in the hospital down there. And I guess Connie Mack's junior, I don't know if he's a junior or not, but one of his sons, the, the senator, had gone into the hospital my dad was at, and when he walked into the room, my father almost had a heart attack because it looked just like my grandfather that had passed away already. He said he was the spitting image. So I'll uh, show you a picture of my grandfather here in a second. Yeah, so that's my grandfather. Uh, he was born in 1900 and died in 1970. Uh, he was a pipe fitter out of Boston, and that's my dad. My dad died when he was 58 from smoking, so if you're out there smoking cigarettes, I would highly recommend uh, not doing that anymore, giving it up. That's my son, Justin. He's now about 38. Then there's my grandmother in the middle with her friends at her, I can't remember, it's probably her 80th birthday party, something like that. And this is my grandmother's mother, so my great-grandmother. Uh, her and my great-grandfather, they were both deaf and dumb. Uh, they met at a school. And, uh, it, you know, my grandmother was nice and healthy. And that's my Uncle Johnny. Uh, he died when he was 32. He was in the service. I had a brain aneurysm. So my family kind of died young. And uh, let's hope I can uh, live a few more years. All righty, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Hey, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Thanks.